All right, day seven. So these are the five things Herbs and Rye would like to see any of them when I inevitably lose this challenge. So number one, clean shave. All right, so that one's not happening. Uh, I remember Hardin and Brian Wilson getting offers from like Gillette or other people to shave. If I ever get so famous, someone, someone offers me a huge amount of money, I'll consider it right now, not risking it in this challenge. And what's the next one? Never use a spoon ever again for life. That's also not happening. I could, and I'm being nice for the second one, I could use a spork and use a loophole to get around that. Still don't want to. And by the way, I wouldn't agree to these things even before the challenge started. I know now more than halfway, it looks like there's no chance I'm winning. So it's easier for me to say no, but I wouldn't have said yes to one or two even at the start. The one after that, drink three alcoholic beverages of herbs and rye's choosing and drink them all within 90 minutes. If it's beer, that's fine. I would do that. I wouldn't enjoy it, but I would do it. My skin would get really hot. I would still do it. Liquor, I would just spit out. I think Macallan I didn't spit out because I wanted to show respect to the people who made it. Um, honey whiskey was actually tolerable. I tried that once. Gin, I didn't spit out because I was at a law professor's house. Um, Jameson, I spit on the floor. There was something else I just spit out. It's disgusting. I don't believe anyone actually likes the taste of liquor. If you disagree with me and you mix it with ice and pineapple juice and cranberry juice, you don't like it. Because if you liked it, you would drink it straight, by the way. Next, we are looking at download an app onto my phone, which I don't have any apps, of Herbs and Rye's choosing, and I could delete it after a month. Um, I don't want to mess up my phone and open the gateway into apps and Wi-Fi on my phone, so I'm not doing number four either. And finally, Get Tony Big Charles on the channel and say publicly that him and I are friends. Number five I'm willing to do. I would actually enjoy it. Uh, I have played with TBC at PH back in the day recently. He was at Sahara a bunch last year. This year, that one day I was at Resorts World, worth herbs and rye by the way, uh, I saw him walk by the poker room, he wasn't playing. But I can't just like find him. Like, you know, I'm not Liam Neeson and Taken. I can't just find people when I feel like it. So I can't like make sure I do that in the next week or something. If I ever find him, I'll ask him if he wants uh, to be interviewed on camera though. But that's not really part of this challenge. I can't just make it happen because I feel like it. So it's looking like three beers in an hour and a half. I don't know exactly when. And if by some miracle I come back, I just want uh, Aztec tacos on the way out of town Sunday, April 2nd. And I said that earlier, before the challenge really started. That's all I was thinking about. Now it doesn't really make any sense for me to even continue thinking because I'm down like 3,600 or something. All right, time at the bottom. We're here at Seven Mile, drove already. Very fitting drive. On the way, we listened to California by Phantom Planet and that uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers song where he mentions LA. I don't even know the name of it. Anyway, they're both on uh, one of the CDs I have in my car. That's right. We were kicking it old school listening to a CD on the way here. Um, Anything to add? So far? Just ready to win another couple thousand. All right, Herbs and Rye is calling his shot, winning a couple thousand. Um, I hope I win at least one hand at Showdown. So we have different goals for today. Uh, we're gonna play and then go to a burrito place that closes at 10. Legendary burrito so place. He's calling it a legendary burrito place. So we need to stop playing, go there before it closes, and then we're gonna come back for some more hours. That's the plan right now, and I'll see what I could do for uh, some scenery inside. All right, so this is a little annoying. Uh, there's a long wait, a very long wait. You can call ahead, which I actually like in full casinos. Windstar, you cannot call ahead, at least last time I was there. So people who are in the casino kind of wandering around, they stumble upon the poker room. When they put their name on the list and they're told, oh, you're second. Well, that's great if they're actually second. When you can call ahead, they're second, they're waiting, and then all these call-ins show up, and they don't know why they keep dropping down the list, and all of a sudden they're 10th. So I really like a place when it's a full casino that does not let you call ahead. Seven Mile, though, is just like a very small space. There's, I think, 10 table games. Up on the stage near the bar, there's a few more table games tables, and poker has nine tables, but you can't call ahead. So every table is full, and I'm eighth on the list. I've been waiting for a while already, and I'm eighth on the list, so it could be a long wait. Uh, it's cool this time to experience it. I've never been here, so I'll get some hands in. We might only have like an hour and a half until uh, we have to go to that burrito place before it closes. Herbs and Rye is playing Omaha 8. I put my name on the Omaha 8 list, and I'm third, and there's only one table going, so I'll probably get the no limit seat first, so no idea how many hours. It could be a very small amount of hours, and 
that's why I'm waiting and just kind of walking around the parking lot right now but it's a cool spot uh, probably won't return in the future just because it's so difficult to get a seat and we're not that far from uh, Hamul and Saquon so if I were in the area I'd probably pick one of those two places but don't know what the action's like because I haven't played yet took a break from uh, seven mile at Luca Libre and I got a little bit of everything because I could never well I could very well never be back again Herbs and Ryan knows what he wants. He got a surf and turf burrito. And uh, show you some scenery and talk to you in a few minutes. That was my grandfather. Well, no one heard you, so. That was my grandfather. I'll put it in subtitles. Thank you. Luca Libre on a Washington Street in San Diego. Going back to wherever we were today. Going back to uh, Seven Mile for more poker. You know your no limit results? Just the no limit part? Uh, no. All right, well, I'll give you the final results when we uh, play our second session, but we were both playing Omaha 8, so Herbs and Ryan knows his Omaha 8 and No Limit combined, but not just the No Limit. I'm down $53 in No Limit, and it doesn't really matter right now. I'll give you the full results when we get back and play and are on the way back home. All right, first of all, I want to say at that taco place, um, the pork adobado, it's all right, I don't have a lot to compare it to. The rolled tacos, the rollers, were very dry. Might just be because uh, we were there right before it closed. I did like the surf and turf taco, shrimp, steak. I got a side of rice, put that on. Um, anyway, if you come here, because you can't call in, there's no call-ins like I was telling you earlier, I would walk in, put your name on the list, and then like go do something and come back in an hour. That's what we did. We picked up after our first session, we cashed out, we put our names on the list as a call-in, and then we went to eat and we came back just before our names came off, one hour as a call-in, and uh, we were at the top of the list. So I would do that if you were gonna come here. I lost 108, I lost about 50 before and 50 after dinner, and Herbs and Rye is right here. What was the result, Herbs and Rye? Managed to somehow lose $1,420. So minus 1420, I gained ground. I think this is the third day I'm gaining ground by losing. Could you imagine if I actually won? This is like a microcosm of my life in poker. I do pretty well, but could you imagine if I actually won hands every now and again? It would be amazing. I only lost because I wanted to give him a glimmer of hope. I'm a nice guy. So he claims. Uh, we're gonna drive back to uh, the Lake Elsinore area. It's actually a pretty good area if you were going to come and do something like this. I'm not really trying to kill hours this trip. It's uh, more turned into just trying to see all these rooms. We're like, if we drive 90 minutes north, we're in LA. 90 minutes south, San Diego area. 90 minutes northeast, the Palm Springs area, Morongo and Agua. So a very good location. The Temecula, Marietta, Lake Elsinore, Sun City, Menifee, Winchester area. That area is very central to like a lot of rooms in uh, California. So we're gonna drive back tomorrow, just Lake Elsinore, the day after, a combo day, Hustler and Hollywood. And then the final day will also just be Lake Elsinore. And remember, Rice is a spoon food.